So ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves something really interesting to talk about. Let's waste no more time and let's get started. We have ourselves this Twitter user known as Brandon Learned saying the following, extremely disappointed in Marvel Rivals. Multiple creators asked for key codes to gain access to the playtest and are asked to sign a contract. The contract signs away your right to negatively review the game. Many streamers have signed without reading just to play Insanity. And the following image reads as follows. 2.1 Non-Disparagement The content creator agrees to not make any public statements or engage in discussions that are detrimental to the reputation of the game. This includes but is not limited to making disparaging or satirical comments about any game-related material such as game features, characters, or music. Engaging in malicious comparisons with with competitors or belittling the gameplay or differences of Marvel Rivals or providing subjective negative reviews of the game. Okay, I have got one question to ask about this. What in the blue hell is this Mickey Mouse bullshit that we got going on here? So you mean to tell me that Marvel Rivals are that sensitive over things mild like criticism that they put it in the contract to basically more or less state that you're not allowed to be critical of the game because they see criticism criticism as negativity. Well, here's the thing, is that honesty isn't negativity, but being spineless and deceiving, that is negative. So you're essentially making it so that people can't even have a voice 100% when it comes to the signature of that contract, because if that person, genuinely speaking, has issues with the game, well, wait a second, it's going to violate the contract that they signed, so therefore they got to be tight-lipped about it, otherwise it's a breach of contract. Like, do you understand how messed up this is? And this right here is just another microcosm when it comes to what is wrong with gaming today. Whatever happened to the more simpler times where you simply go get a game, you play it, and you enjoy it? You can't even do that anymore without there being some type of nonsense to get in the way, whether it is politically driven, whether it is extremely spineless like this, and who knows what else? Like, God forbid a real-ass gamer has something not nice to say about your product you're gonna cry about it like here's the deal okay if you are that sensitive about criticisms and negative reviews well, here's a little tip. Either get a thick skin or maybe venture onto a different profession because clearly this right here ain't it. Oh, but wait a second, guys. It's not quite over. We have ourselves Hi Stephanie posting the following. Marvel Rivals aims to create a friendly and healthy community for our players and creator. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and attached to that tweet is an image that reads the following. Apologies in advance, by the way, for the bad phrasing we're about to read. Hi players and creators, we are aware that there are inappropriate and misleading terms in the commitment regarding sharing non-disparaging content. We sincerely apology for the miscommunication and unpleasant experiences. Our stand is absolutely open for both suggestions and criticisms to improve our game. And we, our mission is to make Marvel Rivals better satisfy players by those constructive suggestions. We are now working on revise the miscommunication terms from our commitment. The progress will be shared with every creator in a timely manner. Marvel Rivals always welcome all the suggestions. As for CAT codes, creators are welcome to reach out to me for codes. We hope more players and creators can join our community and share your experience with us. Sincerely, Marvel Rivals. However, not all people are having it. We have Carl G here with the following reply. Nah, but like, ain't no way this wasn't intentional. You can't possibly create this draconian contract by accident and simple miscommunication. Well, it seems like that they decided to walk back that bullshit. Good for them. I think what they're doing here is they're trying to sweep it under the rug and masquerade it as a mistake or miscommunication, but really I think what happened is they tried to pull a fast one over the gamer's eyes, and the gaming community was simply put not having it, so they had to walk everything back and try to make up a lying excuse as a result. Because in my opinion, 
What we have here on the screen seems pretty damn intentional. Like, I'm sorry, but if you want to be taken seriously here, then maybe just maybe don't throw up spineless BS like that in any form of a contract or whatever, because here's the deal, okay? Let me give you some advice. It's free on the Crasher House, okay? First and foremost, criticisms do not equal hate. Let's get that settled right from the get-go. Secondly, when it comes to putting out a product here and you want people to test it, you want people to try it out, don't you think that maybe just maybe you should open up your mind to the good and the bad reviews to see where you can improve upon that product so that way it will be a bigger draw for customers? Like, it seems pretty basic to me. Like, as an example, we'll say my videos. I mean, I wouldn't say my videos are grade A products, but here's the deal. You guys consume my content. If there's at any point that anyone has suggestions on how to improve my content in some way, shape, and form, I mean, don't you think that it would be wise of me to listen and take that into consideration and see what I can work with here to better improve my content and attract more viewers? I mean, it seems like a win-win at the end of the day. But hey, I very well might be wrong here. Maybe I'm too much of a boomer when it comes to these sort of situations here. Maybe being logical and reasonable here are so much out of style that it's condemnable nowadays. But regardless of all that, ladies and gentlemen, these right here are just my own analysis and opinions on the matter. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my takes? Do you disagree with my takes? And what are your thoughts overall on what we discussed here in today's video? Whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is it here for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.